several organizations stepping up to support relief efforts for people in the Carolinas. But you'll want to be cautious yeah. about your donations because scammers usually aren't far behind. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has what you need to know to make sure you don't put your money in the wrong hands. Well, those pleas for donations might come in the form of mail or even a phone call, but consumer organizations are sending out a strong warning not to open up your wallet until you do your homework. Look into who you're giving your money to and make sure that you know where that money's going. It sounds simple enough, but every hurricane season, consumer orgs say people opening up their hearts to give end up opening up their wallets a little too wide. Hurricane Katrina was a benchmark for charity fraud, and so was Hurricane Harvey, with scammers reaching out via phone calls, phishing emails, and fake websites. If you get that outreach and the person is really leaning heavily on you and imploring the sense of you need to do this now while we're on the phone, while I'm at your door, um, that's a red flag. Local organizations like the BBB serving Eastern Michigan is also warning givers to beware. Unfortunately, people like to profit from disaster. The BBB says it hasn't received any complaints so far, but does expect to as recovery starts to get underway. One of the big red flags on their radar, crowdfunding sites. I went and did a search under Hurricane Florence on GoFundMe and I found over 1400 different relief initiatives. You have to think about it this way. Who set this up? You know, I mean, I can easily set up a crowdfunding website and so could you and that money would go directly to your bank account. They're not all fake, but they are very hard to vet. The bottom line, do your research to make sure the charity is legitimate. Ask questions about how the money gets to the right people and always stay away from giving cash or gift cards. Now, if anybody reaches out to you and you believe it could be a scam, the BBB is urging you to report it to them immediately. You can do that at BBB.org. For now, in Southfield, Amira David, 7 Action News. Thank you, Amira.